so here's an interesting story. I tried to find my way back and I guess through backtracking I got lost and now I'm drowning. Here's a new thing in Banjo 2 though. Once you run, run out of air, you don't die immediately. You just start to lose health and you lose health and then you drown. So let's just drown peacefully, calmly. Yeah, let's die peacefully and die. Oh man, that's hor that's a horrible way to die. Never die drowning, kids. Never die drowning. But yes, let's welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie, and this is this is my hello. And let's go back to the crushing shed because that's where we should be by now. So yeah, that kind of sucked, didn't it? Drowning. Get used to it. At least you have millions of lives since well, this game gives you like millions and millions and billions of lives. Since there are no lives, you just have infinite lives. Like I said before, dying is strategic. It is strategic strategic to die sometimes. Because sometimes if you're like stuck somewhere and you need to get somewhere else back. Okay, that's not the way here. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Basically, there will be a level later on there will be later there will be times later on when dying is the most strategic way to, you know, traverse through the world because A, they're big, and C B Jeez, you don't know your alphabets now? Idiot! But yeah, um, the point is, later on in the game, you will be given checkpoints. And these checkpoints, I mean, they don't... The game will tell you that they're checkpoints right away, but they are checkpoints. And they're very useful checkpoints for, you know, if you die, you can always go back to where, you know, the checkpoints are. And then you're good. Oh, I was gonna sing about the candy man. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Okay. Leap high in the air and then hold Z. Because this is British after all. Watch Kazooie and spin and whatever your head. That'll be all. Dismissed. As you know, Rareware is a British company. So of course it's British. Like all the scones and... Yeah, this is the build drill. Which is like an upgraded version of... Caught you, bitch. Upgraded version of the, gr of the ground pound or the beak buster. You'll be using the build drill a lot for just some puzzles and stuff, but oftentimes when you need to use the, you know, if if you want to use the big, you know, ground pound, you'll find yourself using the build drill more often by habit, since, you know, you just hold on to it and bam, you just do it, and hello, empty honeycomb, we could use like four more of you to get another, you know, uni unit of health. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. can you please talk coherently? Can I make it up here? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. How many notes do I have in here, by the way? Um, so there's a trouble clef... Yeah, I'm good, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, let's go inside and, you know, visit here, shall we? Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Oh, hello, dude. What's with you? The prospector's hut. Hey, wait a minute. What a nice photo. It looks like... That guy looks like Crash Bandicoot for some reason. This guy... Hey! Seems familiar. Okay, what's with you? Okay, let's talk to this person in. When did I use... Oh, yeah, I used a... Howdy! Who might you be? I'm Bill! I bet you the name is gold related. What is it? Gold bar Bill? Klondike Bill? Nope. Pony and Bill's in my name. Thought so. <laughs> Thanks, Kazooie. Thanks for being the, you know, the sarcastic blunt one. My road a partner, Delbert, I went housing for gold, but he's been gone far too far long. My Bill voice was going so well in the very beginning, but now it's just like, yeah. Jeez, Kazooie's so greedy. Everything has to have a prize now, huh? You city folk are all like. <laughs> I wonder where she could be. Gee, I wonder where she could be, seeing that we've visited her actually in Mayhem Temple. I'm sure I came in through a title. Cool story, sis. But yeah, well, you can't do anything about it right now, so suffer, Dilberta. Suffer. But yeah, this is just something you can do later on. Um, let's see here. Now, I guess. Oh. Why didn't you get collected, Note? You should've just talked to me. I would've given you candy. And... Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. But yeah, I would've given you candy. Because this is a song about the candy man. The candy man. What did you just say to me? The candy man is someone you should trust. The candy man is someone to follow. To candy. Let's actually go this way because there's something I want to get right now, and if we don't get it, we will forget it, and then we will sometime. 
and, it, and then later, when you actually go on these tracks, for some reason, we will pass this thing forever and ever, amen, and never get it, and oh my god, what, okay, is this the right way to get the, um, wait, you know what, yeah, let's forget about it, let's not do it right now, let's focus on it later on, what is this thing I'm talking about, why am I being so vague, why am I referring to everything in, per, you know, impersonal pronouns, um, just because I don't want to spoil what lies ahead for you, but yes, let's go towards Mumbo Skull because that's obviously Mumbo Skull. Like Mumbo Skull looks so freaky in this game compared to like you know in the last game. Whoa, that's so that was pro banjo or Kazooie. You were like you know jumping and sliding on like those mountains as if you're Spider Man, bitch. I hear Globo. We have two Globos now. One for Mumbo, one for Humba. All the time there will be Mumbo or Humba. No, Wumba, 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 Whatever. See? <laughs> By instinct, you just do a build drill. It's so easy to do. So easy. But yeah, um, actually, 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 this is where I want to go. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Yeah, let's go inside Mumbo's hut, shall we? Like, Mumbo's hut, actually, I think Mumbo's hut, let's go back outside. I think Mumbo's had a style so that it fits the location of, you know, the mine and all. It looks like a mining building, kind of. Does it? Am I going crazy? No, it, I'm, I think it actually fits, you know, the mining environment. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. That's one cool thing about the Mumbo's hut. Like, the architecture is like, it fits the environment and all. You'll see in later levels that Mumbo's skull is never, you know, a static, you know, design. It's always changing. Unlike in the first game. Hello, Mumbo. What's up with you? Oh, come on, bad, bad. We got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Mumbo's help. Sure, why not? Sure, we need all the help we can get. This sounds like deja vu. I'm sure we've said the same thing before, but it's okay. I get the. And now we're Mumbo again. Yay! And this time, let's do something more than just, you know, summoning a giant gold statue. Let's do something cool with our lives. A eh, Mumbo? A A A A A A A A A A A A Why am I being Canadian? Why? Um, let's see here. So let's follow the river, shall we? And don't throw bombs at me, bro. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. I think this is the way I want to go. Dun, do, 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 do. I like the song. I saw this one YouTube video of like, you know, a guy covering the song and it's kind of funny because this guy was in like, you know, doing a you know, pretty elaborate Okay, you die. He's doing a pretty elaborate cover of the song and then guess what? The composer of the Banjo Kazooie slash 2E soundtrack, like Grant Kerboffer or whatever you say his name is, however you say his name, he actually has a YouTube account and he actually commented on this you know, video, this cover, so that's pretty cool. I think I want to get this thing right now. Or not. Fine. Well, now I'm here, I might as well just get it right now anyway. Yo, it's a Jinjo! Hey, dude, what's up? Jinjo! So happy! It's the purple family that's almost as big as the black family, but not as big, because the black family is the biggest. And Mumbo can swim. Or can he? He's okay. <laughs> That is so cool. I like that. Oh, this is where I want to go. B. This is all about the candy man. The candy man is someone you can trust. The candy. Oh, come on. I'm going to be like. Under oh, come on. Keep on. Okay, Mumbo, you suck. Okay? It's true. Mumbo sucks at combat. So don't fight with Mumbo because he will die easily. Very easily. Let's break some crates, shall we? Ooh, a honeycomb piece. That's such a surprise. And, oh. What's up with you, train? The train is late. I wonder why. No service. Train to road and glitter go to mine. I'm late, after all. The train is... Wait, wait a minute. Hmm. You know who that looked like? You know who that shovel looked like? Actually, no, 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 no. That character in Congress about 30 was not a shovel. He was like a fork. Yeah, he was a fork. A pitchfork. He was not a shovel. What am I thinking? I thought, you know... Like, remember remember Larry from... Congress Bad Fur Day? 
He almost looks like Larry. He's like Larry's evil brother. The shovel. Hope this works. So it's now time for some Ikambokas. Speaking of which, I have to show you something. Let us levitate this train. So that it's not late anymore. And wait a minute. Did you just hear me correctly? L levitate a train? A whole mother friggin' train? Like what the frig? Like what? Oh my god. Mumbo. Holy shit. You're actually levitating a train. Oh my god. You the man. I thought your magic was useless, but that's cool. I can do that. Yeah, second powers. Yeah, whatever. I've seen that before, but let's take a look. At okay, fine, guys. Shovel, Larry, Gary, Gary the shovel. Don't attack me, Gary. You two, you tie. Gary number two, you die. So we can, so we can go into the sh train and see if it's late or not. What is it? Okay, fine. But we're not gonna see if the train is late because the train is not for Mumbo to decide, you know, what to do with and I don't know. That was a poorly constructed sentence that was going to go nowhere. It's like worse than a sentence it's like a sentence fragment kinda, but like not. Come on, dab it. No, I'm just dabbit dab it a dabbit dab it a dab it a dab it a dab it a dab it. Okay, fine, don't. Well, on the bright side, we made another checkpoint. I mean warp point. So let's go to the crushing shed because that is the next destination. As you can see by how Mumbo's pad disappeared, you know, this time. This is. The Levitate spell is a one use spell. Unlike the summon spell, which you, can, you can use anytime. Hey, look at this. Ikan Bokam. Ikan Bokam. Hey, that is. Whoa, that is cool. Look at how Mumbo's face is expanding and contracting. That is so cool, but Ikan Bokam. That is what he says. Ikan Bokam. So let's do another Ikan Bokam on this. Boulder, the jiggy boulder. Hey, it's a boulder of jiggy. Is it made of jiggies or something? But it's green. And now let's watch it long as cutscene. Do I sh dare I speed this up? Dare I speed this up? Or can I make this interesting with some riveting commentary? Probably not. You can okay, can you please move faster? I'm moving slower than my grandmother, who has just came, who just came out of a sushi buffet. And now it's just, you know, it's ca also carrying 10 bags of shopping, you know, crap. And it's, you know, trying to get onto a bus, but she can't walk, so she's trying to get onto the bus, not walking, with 10 bags coming straight from a buffet, and the bus is moving at 10 miles per hour because the train is late. Yeah, that wasn't riveting at all. I guess if this crushing shed was not activated, then this cutscene would be shorter, but you'd be seeing it ending. Oh my god, you're gonna be crushed! Yeah! <laughs> if I were the border, I would be screaming my ass off. Oh my god, that is the scariest shit! But hey, we, it's the jiggy is in three pieces. Aw, jiggy, you died. Let's collect it anyway. Wait a minute, where's the whole fanfare? Aren't she supposed to be like dun 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 Like... Let's see, let's try this again with the second piece, shall we? Almost there! What we need is the third piece of the Jiggy. Even though these three fragments don't really make up the whole f Jiggy in... Con I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool how like you know they do the whole jiggy fanfare in pieces before you actually you know make the whole jiggy and then it's like you know dun 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 Speaking of which, the jiggy fanfare is actually shortened in this game because like you know, I mean in the first game it's like in the first game when you get a jiggy you have to watch a whole cutscene of Banjo doing a dance and you know doing the whole like dun 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 I guess just to make it, you know, just to make the game play, you know, flow better and all, they've shortened their sequence, so yay! Let's burn our butts, shall we? I said burn our butts. Let's not overdo it though. Yep, I don't overdo it, I said. Thank you. But now that we're not Mumbo anymore, see ya Mumbo. Hope you, you know, enjoy being useless. By the way, Mumbo's hut, the song is depressing in this game, much better in the original game, when it's all jazzy, like. Anyway, so where's the next place to go to? Uh, let's go to here. 
Yeah, let's go into the... Um, oh, I was about to read a sign, but I guess not. Fine. Let's go in here to... The Bloomy Caverns. Oh. Hey, it's a Jinjo. It's a black Jinjo. It's the second of nine Jinjos of the huge ass family. Look at you use... What's wrong with your mouth? It's like... You, you can't close your mouth. You're like all bloody and I don't know. Let's just move on, shall we? Hey, it's a boulder. We can... That you can... Okay, get off. And build drill. Build drill the science, dude! I don't know where I was going with that. And, whoa, where's this? This is a... Oh, my God. Let's build drill this too, why not? Shall we? Now... This is going to be for something later on, but... I mean, what am I talking about? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. This is the same split pipe we saw outside. What is this for, I may ask? Uh, what is it for? I don't know, but we don't care about it. We don't care about your shit! Now, this is something you're actually supposed to... Uh, yeah. This is something you're actually supposed to do much later on with those supposed pads and all. Like... Take a look at this. Hmm. Like, think for yourself... I mean... If you're watching this after having watched me in a future level and getting a certain skill that's relevant to this, then you'll see how this puzzle is meant to be worked out. How this puzzle's how are you supposed to get this jiggy originally? Because if you step off, then you just get to see another boring ass cutscene of the lights coming off. Yay! Aw, the jiggy's all alone in the dark. Don't worry, Jiggy, I'll save you from the darkness. Darkness, 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 light! Speaking of which, I saw like this one video of like, you know, Kingdom Hearts summarized in 5 seconds and it's pretty much everybody saying darkness, 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 darkness and it gets like the main character in the end says like LIGHT and they're like no, and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to get this jiggy right now, use the fire eggs to light the way, as Jiggy Wiggy would say, now the fire eggs will light the way. Remember, if you want to Im imitate Jiggy Wiggy, you have to s you know, talk like that, like Way, Ay, Ay. That's being freaking annoying. Stop it, my hello, stop it. Anyway, so with the fire eggs, you can pretty much traverse through this darkness, 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 light. There's actually this one other video of like you know, it was another one of those five second videos. It's like Final Fantasy X in 5 seconds. And it's pretty much, you know, showing all the annoying instances of Titus being annoying. Actually, it sounded better. The explanation sounded better in my head, but yeah. Hmm, do I really want to go back? Nope, let's die. Yay, we're dead! I'll meet you back at the power hut. But yeah. Hmm. Actually, I kind of want to make this a decent length, so... I think I'll start the episode here. Wait, did I do anything in this video? Wait, what did I do in this video? I got like... Three... Two jiggies. I drowned. Well, I got some... I learned some moves, I guess, so... I guess that's alright progress. I mean, it's Banjo-Tooie, what to expect? This is Banjo-Tooie in a nutshell. So, yeah. Um... You know what? You know what? No, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something right now. I'm not gonna end, end the video here. I'm gonna do something, damn it. I'm gonna do something. There we go. Oh, I want a fire axe. Let's go, let's go down this new passageway we've opened up. And oh my god, it's so red and deadly. Wow, that looks scary. Like, you're going into red light. And it's so scary. It looks like. It kinda looks like that little incinerator from Toy Story 3. It's just so scary and all. Warning! Unreliable generators! You deserve on rest! So, pretty much, I wanna. Hmm. Let's try using our blue eggs again on these. No effect. Fire eggs? I said fire eggs! Ah! Wait. I said. Ah! There we go. So, these generators work temporarily if you shoot eggs at them. I think fire eggs, right? I'll work. Uh, I'll demonstrate on the, on the next generator. Let's see. Blue eggs. Nope. Fire eggs are the way to go. Fire eggs are the way to go. As Jiggy Wiggy would say. Screw Jiggy Wiggy. He's a horrible person. He rapes... Peep. Um, 
I'll work in this jiggy next video. So bye.